Hi everyone, happy Chew Tuesday. Coming at you with 2023 Gold Rush Autographed Big Balls, four box, random letter break number two. We're going to go by the first letter of their first name. So pretty self-explanatory. If it's Bryce Young in there, it'll go to B. Tom Brady goes to T. Ichiro goes to I. So on and so forth. Well, Erlen Holland goes to E. Kevin Durant, Kobe Bryant goes to K. Now there's not all, obviously all, not all letters are, are uh, represented. This represents the all other letters spot right there in addition to those letters. All right, so with that being said, thanks to this group for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. There are the letters right there. Appreciate the letters. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and letters. Three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Got Nancy down to Aaron after six. Three and a three, six the hard way for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we got D down to eight. All right, Nancy with the letter D, Ken with T, Mike, Q, R, code, Steve H with B, Aaron with G, Eugene with K, Nancy with N and P, no prob, C with E, Ed with M, Steve, hi, H, I, Eugene, J, Ken, V, W, X, Z, and all other letters not on this list, Nestor with S, Ed with C, and Aaron with A. Let's, so let's sort alphabetically by letter. And we'll, we're gonna pause the video just for a bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the four box break. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done. So here on a Chew Tuesday, May the 2nd, big balls break number two. That list remains the same. Got all four boxes right here, and we've got an opportunity to play a little bit of Who Am I? So put your thinking caps on, and remember, it's a multi-sport. And a good way, this is a good opportunity to get some, uh, some full memorabilia, full size memorabilia in, uh, into your collection. Look inside here. All right, think basketball. Put your basketball caps on. All right. Well, I I, I share I share a name with a character in the best-selling Gossip Girl book series. That'd be quite a crossover if someone took that trivia information and realized who this player player was. Um, old school guy, currently 74 years old, was born in New York City, 6'1", 150, went to college uh, at Arizona Western and then UTEP and was a second round pick and ended up being a, uh, ended up being a Hall of Famer. Played for the Cincinnati Royals, the Kansas City Omaha, Kansas City Kings. Then played for the New York Nets and the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. Was an NBA champion when I was with the Celtics. Six-time All-Star, an NBA All-Star Game MVP, a three-time All-NBA First Teamer, two All-NBA Second Team, a scoring champion in the early 70s, an assist leader that same season, and part of the NBA anniversary team, 50th and 75th anniversary team. My number one retired by the Sacramento Kings. Who am I? Lifetime, 18.8 uh, .8 points a game, 7.4 assists per game, 2.3 rebounds per game. Who am I? 
None of those are basketball players, Mike Tower. Good try, though. Remember, basketball player. Don't be like Mike Tower. Correct, but not basketball players. This is basketball, Mike. Come on. Try to keep up. It is, it's old Nate Archibald. There's his uh, silver ink autograph right there. You got the HOF. You got a game ball series basketball right there. And then the, the JSA card in here. Should be a JSA sticker somewhere on here, Nancy. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Oh, there it is. So there you go, Nancy with the letter N. All right, nice start. Next box. Um, I, it might be. I think most of the, the hits have been deflated, though. Oh, this one's inflated. Spoke too soon. Who are you? This has an upper deck authentication in here. All right. All right, I am currently an active quarterback in the NFL. 29 years old, 6'4", 231, a former number one overall pick. Played for two teams my entire career. A pro bowler, an NFL passing yards leader, a national champion, a Heisman Trophy winner. Lifetime, 139 touchdowns to 96 interceptions, 21,840 passing yards, 61.3% uh, completion percentage. 1200 over 1200 rushing yards and 11 rushing touchdowns who am i aj mccarran not a former number one overall pick speaking of basketball rex watched a funny highlight reel lebron faking getting fouled yeah, the, the, Rex is in a, in a part of the world where people hate LeBron, so he thinks that LeBron's the only one that does that. You could probably find a video for every player in the league faking getting fouled, Rex. That's just the league these days. It's not just limited to LeBron. Stop listening to your LeBron hater friends, Rex. All right, so this quarterback, by the way, had a really uh, had an interesting distinction of being part of the 30-30 club back in 2019. He had, he had 33 touchdowns and 30 interceptions while throwing a career high 5,109 passing yards, which actually led the league that year. Yeah, it's... It's the famous Jameis Winston. So there's his autograph right there. On a multi-panel NFL ball. <laughs> Matt Castle wishes he has thrown 33 touchdowns in his career. There's the upper deck authentication right here. Yeah, old crab legs himself. And that goes to Eugene and the letter J. Imagine the, the, the entitlement of a college football player to walk into a grocery store 
get a bunch of delicious, delicious crab legs and just walk right out the door. All right, so there you go, Eugene, random letter number two with the letter J for Jameis. All right, couple more to go. Those crowd legs were made for walking. That's just what they'll do. I wonder, post, uh, post playing career, I wonder if Jameis Winston should just lean into that and then open up a series of, uh, of, uh, of crab shacks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a multi-signed soccer ball, ladies and gentlemen. It's an MLS ball signed by team members of the Montreal Impact. That's really cool. So there's a ton of autographs here. Here's how we're gonna handle it. And here's a certificate of authenticity. And let's see if we could find this and get a full list of names or at, as close as possible to a full list of names. All right, so there are 24 autographs on here, according to JSA. But, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna be able to identify all 24 of those. What we're gonna go with is the notable names that they've highlighted here. Those are probably the main reasons why you want this ball anyway. So it'll be a randomizer between I, S, A, E, K, M, R, D, and D. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that after we show this ball. <laughs> it's another multi-signed soccer ball, and this is signed by Toronto FC. So there's your certificate of authenticity, and there's another multi-sign ball. And again, we'll do the same thing. We'll just go by the first letters of these notable signatures that they've highlighted. All right, so there we go. Let's start with uh, Montreal FC, uh, Montreal Impact, that is. I wonder what the, did they win the cup that year? Is that why we're, we're doing this? In 2018, no, they weren't even in the playoffs, but just a multi-signed multi -sign soccer ball. All right, so this is for Montreal FC. We had the letter I, S, we got Ignacio, we got Safir, Alejandro, Evan Bush, Ken, Michael, Rod, David, and Daniel. 
So we'll use one dice roll for, uh, for both lists. So for the Montreal Impact, four and a six, ten times. Letter on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a four, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Letter on top is the letter D, and that'll be for Nancy. So there you go, Nancy. You'll get the uh, you'll get the autograph, all the authentications right here. You're getting a you're getting an official match ball signed by team members of the 2018 Montreal Impact team. All right, congrats, Nancy. Yeah, Volleyball Nancy getting a soccer ball. All right. So the other match ball didn't have this, but this is a match ball from this game, Toronto FC versus DC United. Now, I feel like there's more players I recognize here. We got guys like Josie Altador on here too. Josie Altador, uh, you know, a name that jumps out at me right there. So this is a 2021 Toronto FC ball from a match on July. Should, should we look up what Toronto FC did that day? I'm curious. Was this match ball from a particular game? That's the date of the autograph, but I'm not sure what the date of the match was. That says 721. So this was the 2021 season. Let's go back to 2021. Toronto FC. Let's go to their their games that they played. This was July 21st. This says they played New York Red Bull. Oh, this is 2022. The ball was signed in 2022. Sorry, not 2021. So let's see what they did in July 21st. Wait, November 721? I'm not sure what's... Oh, November 7th. Sorry, I can't read. It's November 7th, 2021, I see. Let's go to November 7th, 2021. That was the last match of the season. Toronto FC lost that day to DC United. DC United beat them 3-1. All right. So let's, some more letters on this one here for under notable signatures. Josie Altador. We got a Jacob, Justin, Omar, a Jaden, an Eric, an Io, a Chris, a Rocco, a Luke, a Subasa, a Nick De Leon, a Jordan, a Julian, a Richie, and a Jonathan. A lot of J's there. That's a once again, we got Josie, Jacob, Justin, Omar, Jade, and Eric, Omar, Jade, and Eric, Io, Chris, Rocco, Io, Chris, Rocco, Luke, Suvasa, with a T, and Nick, and then Jordan, Julian, Richie, Jordan, Julian, Richie, Julian, or uh, Jordan, Jonathan. All right, we're gonna use the same dice roll. Four and a six, 10 times. Letter on top gets it after 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
And 10th and final time. After 10, yeah, the J's have a lot of J names on there. And that's going to go to Eugene. There you go, Eugene. Autographed soccer ball. Looks like it's a match ball. One of the match balls they used from, uh, from this game right there. Kind of a weird way to do the year, but we figured it out. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.